Well, it's a rainy day Saturday here in Tennessee, that Hurricane Delta coming up through our part of Tennessee. Um, I'm looking at the sides shed, sawmill shed build. Got one pillar up, I'll show you that, but uh, gonna work on a different project indoors today. So I squared up what I will consider the foundation and if you recall from a previous video this gap right here was where the fence or the gate was at and then the first fence post and I had Anna help me yesterday when I pulled the post out it pulled the post out of the concrete it was sitting in uh, for years so I just put the pillar over the top of that leveled it off with the idea that I'll have about a five inch foundation thinking about a concrete slab right through here but uh, anyway we we've got to start <laughs> on setting the pillars just about have the trailer empty so I can start sawing up some more logs and uh, I'm going to kind of wait till I empty the kiln out with the rafter boards before I start sawing up some more so I can determine exactly what uh, what boards length, width, thickness that I need for the next portion of the build. Well, with the rain going on outside, I guess it's time to uh, work on this carry-all. And that Hurricane Delta is coming through our portion of Tennessee. So I believe what I'm going to do is take loose these hitch pins, take them off, get rid of the stove bolts that are coming through here, and take a wire brush to this and then go ahead and paint it. So let's get started. Now here's a uh, here's a good suggestion. Find you a bolt and nut to consolidate your washers so they're easy to find next time you reach down and, and uh, into a bolt bin and, and try to grab you just grab this and grab it whatever washers you need off of it.
here on the farm when I buy pallets of feed these pieces of cardboard come on top of them between the pallet and the feed and uh, there's your brown recluse spider yeah we have them here on the farm I don't know what kind of spider that is that's a dandy though I think I'll let him live but these uh, brown recluses I have no use for them Got a collection of license plates here in my little shop that I've been putting on the wall. And uh, I'm straightening up the corn crib to put some lumber to dry out there. And uh, this is a 1976. So I've got a 74, so maybe I'll just take and put this one. Let's see. It's kind of rusted and corroded as a 70. Here's another 70. There's an 81. Just using some sheet metal screws. I think they'll be long enough. It's also a sticker on the front. It was a 1980 Ford Granada L. Coleman Box 41 here in Tennessee. Um, 1980, and I believe that was Lila Coleman who was married to Henry Clay Coleman. Here in Tennessee, they've got a new design out for the license plates, but the state hasn't taken them up and replacing them yet. Talking kind of loud on this tin roof is the rain falling down. Last year, this one was used as 1988 here in Tennessee. And uh, no name or anything on it. Maybe what I'll do is take the rest of those and just move them up so they're in line with the... With the antique auto plate, you're limited to when you could drive it only on holidays 
and weekends, and I wanted to drive the Bronco throughout the week, so I went to uh, the NRA plate. This plate is a commercial plate. It is the one that I had on my uh, big locksmith van, my E350. And then I bought a new van. Well, there you go. Start of my license plate collection. Thanks for watching.